So starting with a day like Sunday, this is going to be a classic running errands or lazy class day. There are definitely just some days where I don't want to wear jeans. The American in me just deeply rejects them at least one day a week. What I really like about this outfit is how comfortable it is. I started by pairing my go-to leggings with a white tee and an oversized cable knit sweater from Madewell. I got this one on sale during the pandemic and it has really held up. I also really like the length of it because it just sort of like covers everything that I want to be covered. So it's great for just wearing casually with leggings. I then paired it with my real running shoes. Sometimes I wear my normal like Adidas white sneakers, but if I know I have to walk pretty far, I go for a real sneaker. Plus they sometimes just give me a little bit more height, which um, I enjoy as a short lady. Then on top, I just brought my shacket from and other stories, which I wear with pretty much everything. Next scenario is if I'm going for a walk. So this is pretty much exactly the same, except I swap out my sweater for a big cozy sweatshirt. This kind of outfit is perfect for Edinburgh weather because it has good layers. Usually if it is a 40 degree day with some sun, this is perfectly warm enough for a walk up Arthur's seat or through the city. And also it is good to have a pair of sunglasses because even though Edinburgh is you know, pretty cloudy most of the time. We do get quite a bit of sun, so um, it's definitely good to have some of those. So this one is going to be for a very cold or wintry day. So here's the tea. I don't often need my big winter jacket. However, there are days where I would just be lost without her. There have been several windstorms and wintry mixes and just flat out bitter cold rainy days. In these situations, I like to add an extra layer of insulation with this white turtleneck. It's old, but it's one of the warmest pieces of clothing that I own. It's this like sweater material. So it's a bit more than a typical cotton, you know, long sleeve shirt. And on top, if I want a little layered warmth, I go for this lightweight waffled sweater that I tuck into jeans. If I'm wearing my gigantic coat, I find that it's too much to wear a really thick sweater with it. So then I grab my scarf and a bag and I am ready to go. And if it warms up or the rain clears up, I usually will just run home and grab a lighter jacket because this one can definitely be a bit much if the weather clears up. This one is going to be for class in a day in the rain. If it's really pouring outside, I try to opt for leggings because most likely whatever you're wearing on the bottom will get soaked. The rain sometimes goes sideways and upwards depending on the wind. I, tr I really try not to dress up. Here I paired one of my oldest and comfiest gray sweater with leggings and my Adidas sneakers. These are just a better option for the rain than my running shoes. Then I pop on a rain jacket that is long and has a big hood. If I can, I just pop what I need like my wallet or my keys into my jacket. But if I have to go to class, I usually just bring my tote bag and keep my laptop in a like neoprene case. I'm actually kind of surprised that my computer isn't dead yet. Um, I like to live on the edge. This is going to be for a casual dining hall outfit. <laughs> I am living the halls this year, which can be um, a little much in terms of always feeling like you have to be halfway decent looking. On days where I just don't really have anything left to give, I pop on a sweatshirt. This is one of my favorites from New York and I just wear it with like these big Levi 501s and my Adidas shoes. These shoes are honestly the best to just shove on my feet. At this point, they are basically just slippers and my Levi's are like my sweatpants, but they do make me feel a little bit better about myself than sweatpants. Also, do not, do not forget your tote bag to steal extra food. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really a fancy gym girly. The gym is a pretty big part of my weekly routine. So I made sure to bring my athletic leggings and t-shirts for the gym. I'm seen here wearing my Postmates t-shirt, even though I do not or have never worked for Postmates. I'm not even sure how I acquired this t-shirt, honestly. Then I'm on top of that, I am just wearing a sweatshirt that I thrifted for five pounds. It's great, really worn in and perfect for the gym, just because the walk to the gym can be a little bit long and cold, so it's good to have a sweatshirt and my sneakers are from Brooks and they are definitely one of the best pairs that I've ever had.
So this is what I would typically wear for a day of online school. I find that dressing up just a little bit for online school helps me a lot. I like to watch online lectures in my room, but I really only get it done effectively if I sit at my desk and I put on like halfway decent real people clothes. Usually for this, I wear an oversized jean with a big sweater. As you can tell, I like gray sweaters. <laughs> then I usually opt for some like funny fuzzy sock for some spice and they slip easily into my sneakers when I pop in the hall to, you know, make some coffee or grab my lunch. This is gonna be for a class where I dress up a little bit more. So if I'm going to do a tutorial, I honestly, I sometimes use it as an excuse to dress up a bit. It depends on the day and it definitely depends on the day how nice I get dressed for them. After a year of barely dressing up for anything during the pandemic, I really take any opportunity I can to wear exactly what I want. Here I am wearing a pair of my favorite kick flare jeans from Madewell paired with a blue sweater and my favorite shirt jacket again. I wear this thing with literally everything. I really think this jacket is perfect for Edinburgh because it's a light enough layer that you can pretty much always wear it and depending on the weather you just change your sweater underneath. So if it's a little bit colder of a day I opt for a thicker sweater but if it's you know not too bad outside I'll go for a thinner sweater and usually that you know kind of works out then i just popped on my scarf and honestly the scarf doesn't really do anything at all but it's cute so sue me all right so this outfit is like if i'm feeling fancy and i'm going to like a museum or a cafe or if i'm like doing like my you know my study abroad realness so this outfit is completely giving anne hathaway at the end of the devil wears prada where she becomes a real journalist and then she sees meryl streep like popping into her town car anyway here, I just went for a nicer pair of jeans with a mock neck sweater from And Other Stories. I have so many variations of simple sweaters, but I just like them because I can sort of mix things up in a minimal way, like depending on the thickness of sweater, like how nice the sweater is, how old the sweater is, because I definitely have like sweaters from like six years ago that I still wear, but like they don't look the same, you know? And then on top, I paired my new vintage leather jacket. Then I am wearing my black boots on the bottom, just in case it rains. These are always a good option, a little dressier than a sneaker as well. All right. So it's Friday, the will to live is gone. Usually I am just hanging around. So obviously this is like the nicer version for YouTube because no one wants to see my Audubon Society t-shirt that has eight kinds of birds on it. And you know, paired with my plaid pajama pants from LL Bean that are like 10 years old. I guarantee that that is a pairing that I will keep to myself. So here are my <laughs> nicer college sweatpants paired with like a simple tank and a sweatshirt, a, like a sweater shirt that's a million years old from Brandy Melville that I got when I was like maybe 15. And it's really cozy. And I, I kind of wear this when I'm like trying to feel like cute loungewear. So we all have those days, you know, where we're just, we're just trying to like stay home, but like, you know, not in our Audubon society t-shirt. <laughs> So here's one of my go-to going out outfits. It's not very fancy, but I have worn this in occasions where I need to be a little bit dressier. So I pair this corduroy skirt with a white tee and then one of my nicer like cashmere sweaters. A hot tip for these kinds of sweaters is that most of them go on sale after Christmas and they're a really great staple. I think I spent about 50 bucks on this one and it is by far one of the most worn items in my whole closet because of its versatility. I pair this with jeans, you know, skirts, underdresses, like it goes with every kind of pant. It's just, it's a good investment for a wardrobe. This is something that I would wear to like a casual dinner with a friend or just like a chilly day. So these are some of my favorite kinds of jeans for my short ladies out there. Um, I was wearing them earlier, but they are the kick flare jeans from Madewell. And I think other stores are starting to sell this style. And then I just paired a boot with a little heel to give the illusion that my legs seem a little bit longer than they actually are. Then I just put on this chunky blue sweater with of course the white tee poking out. I don't know why, but something about that little extra layer always makes me feel excellent about myself. And then usually if I'm being a little more casual, I'll add a ponytail just to spice it up and you know, just pulling out that trusty shirt jacket again because I cannot be bothered to buy another jacket. <laughs> and that's, that's just the tea. 
All right, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative just to give you, you know, sort of an overview of what like a typical week looks like because dressing for the weather in Edinburgh can be a little bit daunting when you've never experienced it. But I would definitely say take the advice of light layers to heart because that is definitely how I have survived the strange weather this year. What I will say is the temperature doesn't really change that much throughout the day, but definitely where there's random rainstorms and wind storms and things like that that you, you kind of need to watch out for. All right, thanks for watching.